If you're unhappy with the taste, smell, discoloration, or staining caused by your water, you need a water filtration system to fix it for your family. Maybe you've asked friends and family members to find out what they did to fix their terrible water, but then you realize that water differs from city to city and definitely from well to well. Maybe you thought, I'll just buy a water softener, I've heard that helps, or maybe I'll just buy some filters, I've heard that iron filters and sulfur filters might help, but really, where do you start? Well, I hate to tell you, you're doing it all wrong, but relax, in this video, I'll explain exactly what you need to get to to get the best water filtration for you and your family. Hi, I'm John from the Water eStore and I help simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for you and your family. This video is a perfect fit for you if you're a do-it-yourself installer or you've got some concerns about your water or you're helping somebody else that has concerns about their water and you wanna know where to start. What information do you need? What information can you supply to a water treatment professional like myself to help you troubleshoot? We love the hundreds of emails we get every month from families just like yours asking for recommendations on what's gonna fix your water. Because of that, we've put together a questionnaire that details the information required. We'll put a link in the description below with the questionnaire that gives us all the information we need to make an informed decision for you. Follow along as I take you through the water info questionnaire and explain what information we need, why we need it, and where you can find it. The first thing we need to know is where you're located. It might make some difference by region, but more importantly, you're probably looking for a quotation for water filtration equipment to fix your concern. The next thing we need to know is how many people are in your house. Household. Why do we need to know that? Because it determines how much water you use. So we need to make sure that we're recommending a system that's big enough for your family. What's your water source? The water differs whether you're on a municipality or a city, town, or you're on well water, river water, or drawing water from a lake. What size is your plumbing? Again, if you have a large plumbing line, like one inch plumbing, it makes a big difference because we don't want to specify a system that only has three quarter inch lines that's going to restrict your flow. Do you have any existing water filtration? If so, what do you have? Again, we can work with whatever equipment you already have. If your concerns are about iron and sulfur and you already have a water softener and your water is also hard, then we know we need, just need to concentrate on solving the iron and sulfur issue for you. If you have a reverse osmosis drinking water system, it's important to know whether you have a water softener already or not because reverse osmosis systems work better with a water softener. We'd like to know whether you drink your water or not, and if you don't, would you like to? If you're on a municipal water source, there's a specific set of questions just for you. Does your water smell? If so, does it smell like bleach? That's probably because it's either chlorine in the water or chloramines in the water. Does anyone in the household have sensitive skin? And if they do, are they getting rashes? What's the hardness of your water? And is that hardness number in grains per gallon or parts per million? You can either have the water tested by somebody locally, you can mail it to us and we'll test it for free, or you can check with the municipality. Quite often they've got information available where they'll test it for you. The total dissolved solids, TDS, in your water is parts per million. That number is really important and tells us how high the mineral content is in your water, which also gives us a clue to what might be causing that high mineral content. You may have high sodium in your water, lots of salt. If you're getting black staining from your water, the manganese content in parts per million is also very important. If your water source is well water, we need some of the same information, but also some different information. The first thing we always ask people on well water is, does your water smell? If it smells, does it smell like rotten eggs? That's sulfur. We need to know your iron content in parts per million. We often get emails saying, oh yeah, we've got lots of iron. Well, it makes a big difference whether you have 0.3 parts per million, which is where you start to see staining, or you've got one part, two parts, six, even 15 parts per million. If you have iron or sulfur in your water, we need to know the flow rate from your well pump to make sure that whatever we suggest, your pump has the ability to run enough water through it to backwash it properly and to keep it working. This is very important. We've got a great YouTube video that shows you exactly how to calculate that if you don't have information already available. We'll put a link in the description down below. I definitely encourage you to check out that video and find out the flow rate from your well pump. We also need to know the pH of your water, whether it's acidic or alkaline, and at exactly what level, because certain kinds of iron and sulfur filters require a specific pH. We also need to know if there's any color in your water, which is typically caused by iron or tannins. We'd like you to take a white bucket, fill it with water, and as as the water gets deeper, check if there's some color in there. Does it have a weak tea color? That's very important information. If your water source is a lake or river, the next most important question is, does your water have a fishy smell? Because that's likely something you're gonna want to get rid of. As I mentioned earlier, we've got a great questionnaire that we ask you to fill out. We'll put the link in the description below. We can definitely make some great recommendations for you and your family. Make sure to click up here for your next video on water filtration basics, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below. We them all and we'll get back to you as fast as we can. Thanks!